You're now reacting to the girl group Le Seraphim and their B-side track Eve, Psyche, and the Bluebeard's Wife. The song references three mythological women and their common thread between them, which is the curiosity of these three females ultimately causes their demise. The mention of them can be seen as a metaphor for women breaking free from societal norms. But like, I don't know, they all like end up in demise, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know if we should think about that part of the message. No, but uh, don't women who like venture from societal norms always end up in that sort of situation? Maybe because right society, now, society. Yeah, it's, yeah. Beca- it's not their fault. It's not their it's fault, society. it's society. The lyrics speak to the pressure to appear put together and perfect, yet the artists acknowledge their imperfections and embrace their individuality. There's also a story where like she tried to steal the beauty of something and then she uh, was put in an endless sleep her story continues and then bluebeard's wife is another that one's weird you know of it yeah i think it's like she she marries like bluebeard or something and he's like i'm going out of town but you can't like go in this door and then she opens the door and finds like his ex-wife dead and he comes back and kills her or something like that yeah it's it's a weird it's a weird story you got it (laughs) So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's this that's song, weird. and um, we're going to be reacting to the music video. The song is produced by 13 and co-written by Score, Megatone, Hitman Bang, Supreme Boy, Maya Wright, Max Dillon, Benjamin Go- Gustin, Dogfist, Irene, E, Hyung Sok, Danke, and the Le Seraphim member, Yoon Jin. Apologies if I butchered the pronunciation of anyone's name. All right, three, two, one. I already like the rollerblading. Oh, it's already got this creepy Are feel. they in a mall? Is this like... Ooh, oh, that was a nice stop. That was. Oh, cool. I love that. Oh, her hair is so cute. Oh. I'm in the- Oh, I didn't expect it to go there. No, me neither. I love how the dance matches the feel so much, like the roundness. I like the triplet, like, arpeggiations. Nice. Sounds like someone's biting an apple. Or like someone's <laughs> clicking their tongue. Uh, I like how when they say my heart's beating, the clap comes in, sort of like a heartbeat. The apple. The apple. The apple. You're so smart. Oh my gosh. Was that the door? Whoa. <laughs> Blackbeard's wife. <laughs> the chords are really nice and just the roundness of the vocals. It's like hard, but there's also like, oh there's God. such ethereal synth. Yeah, I, I don't know how to describe that either. Yeah, they added some snare drum. Yeah, yeah. That's a famous painting. I don't know Which what it one? is though. The one, it just it was in the back. You're the art history buff. <laughs> Hi, I love the lyrics and that right there. Maybe it's the expulsion of Eden. I don't know. Yeah, actually it does sound more like someone's clicking their tongue than biting an apple. I don't know why I thought But that could actually be the imagery they're going for. I don't know. I just, when I heard it, I was like, man, it sounds like I'm taking like a big old bite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is nice. new too. This is like Xeno, Fat Rat Xeno Genesis, like completely, it's the same, the same progression, I think. Oh, that's cool how they fall. What does that say? I won't hide myself? Hmm. Okay. Oh, 
Nice. That's cool. Some nice club music. Yeah. Mm. Oh. What is it? Don't something myself. <laughs> the seraphim. <laughs> well, what do you think? Have you heard this before? I have not heard this before. Have you? I've heard it, yeah, on TikTok and stuff. It's super popular. And I've heard other La Seraphim songs, too. I like it. I think it's fun. It's really nice. I love the um, the difference in the feels that they achieve from, like, dropping out the percussion and having just nice, like, chords and just, like, a rounded sort of bass thing going on. Um, I don't know. It's fun. I like it. For you, Aiden, what were you listening to? Well, there was, like, there was two vibes. There was the A vibe, which is like the chorus, I guess, which is like your classic club feel. And then your B vibe, I guess, was more ethereal and kind of like, it was also like, it was always really strange when it came in. It kind of, like, okay, it happened three different times and I can't say I was expecting it any of the times, but it also wasn't like, like it wasn't not not welcome, you know. I was wondering if you wanted to break down the chords because there's something about the chords during the drop that I'm like, mm. Yeah, yeah, and then that's like why it's a TikTok audio too. Mm. Oh, it's like, because it's like in the, they, they have like a minor pentatonic sound and then they like drop a really heavy major three on you, in my opinion. I might be wrong. In my opinion, I like In my, in my. It oh. sounds like you're saying the major three is heavy. <laughs> in my opinion, it's heavy major. <laughs> this is a tonic. Yeah, we're still in E flat. But it's like but they changed like, the bass note or something, right? Let me hear that. It's also the three is what's being. Yeah, being because that's over. that's the yeah, you, the major the, three, the major three yeah. is like super punchy right there, yeah, and yeah. it makes it combined with the visuals. I think it's super yeah, and the, super cool. Sh I'm just hearing hear tonic. There's tonic in there, and there's a major third, and there's a bass that just is more of a feeling than a sound. Yeah. <laughs> like, because I feel like it's the bass that helps with that feel, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. when you're like in a concert live, you kind of just feel those things more than you hear it. Cause you feel it in your heart. No, sometimes. yeah, that's actually, that was a weapon in the Roman, like not to be a Roman empire person. But that's actually how where French words came from, yeah. um, was the, they would use the sound of so many low instruments just blasting like that, that people would literally be so shook to their core that they would shit themselves. And then that's how oftentimes how they would win the battle with scaring them off in the first place. Things that low, every time I hear them, I'm like, because <laughs> it's, it's like a weapon. It's very disarming. It kind of feels like you're underwater or you're it kind of being like, like surrounded like by this large sound. So mm -hmm. I can't, so no, I can't tell you what note it is. Yeah, I don't, I think this is all to say. <laughs> I'm Maybe like, we just have an aversion to the note. We're later. scared of the. I still don't know what the <laughs> bass note is. No, I can't even hear it with these headphones. So I have no idea. Sorry, but you asked for a, the lowest note like, you can hear is the fine. A basic. The, the bassist, what the, what the <laughs> you, bass You're was. like, what is the bass doing? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, did you know French horns <laughs> came from? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the lyrics? I was thinking about what you, like, how you introduced. Mm -hmm. um, the song to us, and I was wondering if it was successful in conveying mm -hmm. the idea of, like, the concept mm -hmm. of it through the lyrics. Yeah, I think I definitely noticed Eve with the apple. Um, I didn't see a whole lot of the other stories in there, but I also am not as familiar with the other stories. Mm -hmm. It really came off to me as female empowerment through, like, doing what you want being able to have fun with your girls. You know, like, that's what stood out to me the most. Because, like, it is true that women are held to a pressure that they can't do that. Like, when a guy has fun, he's just a boy being a boy. And when a girl has fun, she's, like, all sorts of horrible words that you can't say on recordings. You were really into the, the music video and story. Yeah, they, yeah. The no, subtle hints. They painted over the painting, saying, I won't hide myself. I'm pretty sure the painting depicts, like, God banishing Adam and Eve. I think that's what that, that painting is. And then it's they right over it. I won't hide myself. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that painting is. I can go back and look if you want me to. That's pretty cool. You can just okay. to double check. 
I is found it. it. <laughs> and you're right? Yeah, it's, I think the painting title is called The Expulsion of Adam and Eve from Paradise, but this, it's, it shows the story of them getting banished. And it's, oh. yeah, the exact same one. And then at the end, they write over it, I won't hide myself, I think. I want to see how that, if that door, because that's like the only time I saw them opening a door ever, if that relates to Blackbeard. Uh, Imagine you're, you're Blackbeard's wife and you open that door. I think maybe, <laughs> I think maybe it, they probably were alluding to that just because it's in the title. Yeah. I don't know, maybe the lyrics, I'm a mess, kind of. But I don't know. I feel like she didn't feel that bad after opening it. She was more like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, I don't think she felt like I'm a mess. Um, you asked how the music um, like depicts what they did to the painting. If we're just talking about the story of Adam and Eve, I don't think that the music matches it. Just because I feel like it's a little more sad than clubby. <laughs> but if we're talking about breaking free and all of that, I feel like it does fit because they're like, they're like so what, I ate from the tree. Maybe they're recontextualizing that story as they see the story of Adam and Eve. I don't know if they're religious, but maybe they see the stories of Adam and Eve as a story of, of a woman being oppressed and they see this as like breaking free of that oppression. That's why they're vandalizing the painting at the end. I totally forgot no, that no, I was no, the that's punishment. I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. that's no, but I was thinking, I was like, what the heck? Like all she did was eat from... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? No, I totally remember him saying like, now you're going to have to go through the worst pain imaginable yeah. when you give birth to a child. Okay. Maybe, maybe I could see that. Yeah. No, I, not maybe. I can totally see that. <laughs> <laughs> What I want to get back to is women being torn down for stepping outside of the norm because I didn't see that at all, like represented in the video or in the like lyrics, like that sort of side of it. But that is like a really interesting aspect of all of these stories and of what I think they're ultimately trying to say. The one that they're talking about in this video, women having fun and stuff, isn't the biggest issue women are facing. I do like that they mention it because I think the idea of women's sexuality is really, really taboo for people and it seems like they're going off on that aspect a little bit. They are doing like the boom, 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 like sort of like, you know, they're being, it's like, I want to have fun, I want to engage in debauchery, you know, like that sort of thing <laughs> that men are allowed to. And also, like, we just saw an AT's performance, and they were allowed to take their shirt off when dancing, and like, and that's like, you know, okay, but then whenever women do it, it's like completely not okay at all. And so I wonder if they're making any commentary on that with like some of what their dance moves and what they're talking about, but I, I like it a lot. How do you feel the music represents that message they're trying to show? That could be what the apple sound is. It's it's them biting the apple. I actually think it's that it's a tongue click for sure. What do you mean? It, it, it sounds like it could be either or. They're like breaking their teeth off, biting into the apple. I don't know. Well, it's like well, either way, it's one of those things of like sometimes when you're analyzing music, you find something that is probably a stretch. But the idea that uh, someone can include something that has that deep of a reference to what they're trying to show is like kind of cool. And the Apple sound is kind of a stretch, but just the thought that they could have done that on purpose to show Adam and Eve biting an apple, it's kind of badass to me, in, in my opinion. I mean, this is already a pretty like deep track as far as like the meaning goes and the imagery just within the music video goes. So I feel like if they could have a banger track that also has a deep meaning behind some of the production, that makes me happy. <laughs> it's like Ruby. This is like Samba. This is like Samba influenced. Yeah. Kind of like Latin influenced. <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds so good. Honestly, for a high schooler, mm -hmm. those are good high notes.